Hello and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesdays. Today, we're talking about recent changes to trainable classifiers in relation to Content Explorer. Now, before you needed to apply a trainable classifier to a policy, whether that was retention or sensitivity, before you could see that type of information being indexed and then available within the Content Explorer. But now Microsoft has made it even easier. So out of the box, Microsoft provides up to 50 trainable classifiers you can reuse within your environment. So data that may contain discriminatory language or legal affairs or procurement. It may be in multiple languages that we can discover as well. And furthermore, we can customize our own trainable classifiers. This is where we can seed our information like our contracts, for example, and use an element of machine learning and human review where we can build that model to that specific contract. This means we can gain higher accuracy for data discovery for our contracts. So to what I was saying, once you've got these trainable classifiers set up, all you need to do now is go over to the Content Explorer and we're able to find information that's relative to all of those published and custom trainable classifiers. So over in the Content Explorer, we can roll up these different categories from information types to sensitivity labels and retention labels we've got deployed within our tenant. And now we can see all of the trainable classifiers in relation to those, how many items that contain that specific model. As an example, let's choose the finance model. Now it'll give us a list of all of the items that contain financial information within our core repositories, which is Exchange and SharePoint, and give us a list of all those items that contain it. We can also see other models of data that reside within that item. So for example, we've got legal affairs, agreements, and our finance one, and we can provide detailed or simple feedback to whether that classifier is a match or not for that individual item. It can take up to eight days for items to appear within the Content Explorer, and the information you're providing or the feedback you're providing is going into your tenant and not directly to Microsoft, so your data is safe. If we want to bulk select some items to provide feedback, we can also do that as well. So what I've shown here today is a way of using intelligent methods of discovering data using machine learning models. And now it's indexed automatically within your Microsoft 365 environment and published to Content Explorer so you can easily view and find that type of information. As always, if you have any questions, please use the comments box below. And thanks for now.